Okay. Oh. Wait, hold on. Uh. Do you. What? Wait, hold on. Did we not take out everybody on board? Excuse me? Wait, ho ho hold on a second. Hold on a second. Only outlaw captain. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> on the run, rescue a hostage. Wait, hold on. Whoa. Uh, I'm just trying to check something here real quick. Uh, I was about to say, start my, this is Cassiopeia. Okay, I, I think this is a bug. I think, I think this is a bug. So we're going to ignore it. Well, let me, let me just double check. Let me just double check. We're going to get on board. We'll see what happens. I think it's a bug. Unless I missed somebody on there. All right. Last time, partners, uh, we dealt with Marco. And then uh, we went to do this little rescue a hostage mission. Which I I believe is bug. Smile, boss. You don't get a second chance. Got a first impression. <laughs> no, all, they're all... They're all dead, right? Oh. I'm, I'm a little confused about what's going on. We rescued the hostage. I don't see the hostage anywhere, though. Thanks again. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. I think it's just a bug. Let me just do a quick once-over. Double check. And then we'll, we'll, we'll get back to what we were doing. All right, today... I'm going to go ahead and um, jump to the next main part of the mission for the um, Free Star Rangers. So... Undock. Okay. Did, does this fix it? No, it doesn't. That's weird. Okay. So let's go ahead. Do you want to go do this real quick? Yeah, we're going to go do this real quick. So we can uh, get that done. And then get back on track. So over here. Right here. Jump. Alright. I was getting worried I was going to have to blow up that ship. <laughs> Let's do a quick scan. Oh, it's a UC settler. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? Okay, so magnetosphere unknown, thin methane atmosphere. So I'm gonna have to wear a space space suit here. Let me just do a quick scan though. See what they have. All right, we got H2O. We've got chlorine, copper. Chlorosilings, chlor, yeah, <laughs> and gold. We're going to take Lynn with us. I'm not sure what weapon Lynn has, though. You need 
me for something? Oh, there you are. Good to see you. Break time's over. Let's get moving. I can live with that. I have some things to take care of back there. Back where? Alright, uh, what weapon do you have? Welcome back. Let's see. Let's get this done and keep moving. So... Wait, this is yours? Oh, yeah, this is hers. Alright, so she has... Uh, weapons. Well, this is my stuff, isn't it? I think it is. Where is she? Oh, okay. Who? What are you doing? Lawgiver. Oh, that, that's that, that uh, rifle I was looking at getting. Oh, hold on. Hold, hold, hold on. Do you mind? Ow. Where'd he go? Right, I want to give this a try. I want to give this a try. Uh, Lawgiver. It's you. Oh, I was wondering where you were. <laughs> uh, okay. Modify camera. Grindle. He's in there. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. All right, there we go. Good. How have I missed all these shots? There we go. Right, 
we'll do a quick look around for some health. Alright, so there's some kind of cave system. Is there somebody else in here? I kept hearing somebody else talking. Oh, oh, look out. Okay, weird, but all right. Oh, oh there he is. Haha, <laughs> did he get him? Wait, hold on, what? Oh, he's right there. Oh. Um. Let's take a look. Did I not pick that up? Oh, was that a helmet? Might have been a helmet. That kind of looks cool, but it's not as good as this one as far as, like, stats go. All right. Let's, uh... I'm gonna grab that uh, shotgun again. Actually, I want to see what it compares to this other shotgun we just picked up. Inventory, weapons. to the other one I had. <laughs> uh, plus 10 damage against humans. Crippling. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah. Hold on. Strike. We need to go to the clinic, which is. Is it in Valo or Narian? Narian. Makes sense. Free star space. Okay. You know what? I, I think I'm going to need to get a, um, a, a picture for a screenshot from this. Just the curry. 
understand that. I'm not blaming you directly. Dr. Salvato, how long have you been here? Uh, about a year now, Doctor. And in that year, how many times have we had this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies? I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds right. Three times. I will be making it very clear to your superiors that lives are at stake. And the clinic requires reliable transport. If your company cannot meet our needs, someone else will. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, understood. Thank you, Dr. Salvato. You may return to your duties. It's encouraging to know that every case we cure here likely means dozens or hundreds more can be saved in the future. Welcome to the clinic. I'm Dr. Darvish, Chief of Medicine. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, I'm here on business. Are you? Because I don't have any appointments scheduled. We have a particular focus on astrovirology here. So the patients we take on tend to have unusual cases that require long-term care and sometimes require unorthodox or experimental treatments. We have an excellent track record that speaks for itself, but it doesn't leave room for much else. Whatever business you may be here for, I trust that you will conduct it quickly and do so without interfering with my staff or our operations. Uh, you in charge here? I am, yes. I took over from Dr. S. Waran when he retired nine years ago. While the clinic does occasionally take on research projects that have their own chain of command, I am ultimately responsible for the entire facility. Uh, that's all, thanks. Certainly. Okay. All right, then. I, I would have thought that I needed to talk to you, but apparently not. Okay, wh where do I go? I hate this delivery man. Can't ever get here fast enough. I, I, I have it checked, right? Yes, talk to... Oh, Ben Armistead. Okay, hold on. Oh, here. Oh, yeah, Ranger's office. I'm assuming you're Mr. Armistead? Ranger? Between you and oh, me, sorry. This place sees some weird cases. Gross ones, too. Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? Yes. You know, the marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Uh, good, because I don't want to waste time explaining it. Uh, that's... Great, that'll save us both time. Yep, I'm pretty well caught up on things. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? She had some kind of urgent medical issue, so I'm confident she's here. Well, every ranger knows it's important to trust your instincts. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> you can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. Okay. Right, Just what between way? You and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than a glorified bodyguard. Wait, what, what is going on? What the? Uh. Okay. Private sector of me, That's where the real bond is. Right back. Bunch of stuffy egghead. It's if you ask me. Oh. Except Ari, that is. He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. Now, hey there, Ari. Working hard or hardly working? <laughs> uh, hey, Chief. A little more the former than the latter. What brings you back? Well, the deputy here could use some help. Came looking for someone who might be a patient. I'll see what I can do. Well, I'll leave you and Mr. Miller's capable hands. No, thank you. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. Uh, interesting. The person I'm tracking is a computer expert. Huh. 
Well, we don't give the patients free access to our computer system, so uh, I doubt that's related. It could be. And still, it's worth keeping in mind. So who's the suspect you're after? A former soldier named Maya Cruz. She fought bravely in the colony war. Do we do this or this right here? You, you don't want to give that, you know. Yeah. Uh, her name is Maya Cruz. Hmm. Yeah. The name's not ringing any bells, but maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? A little bit. It was a medical emergency that required long-term care. Uh, no, not really. This is more honest, right? That should be more than enough. I can access the patient records from my terminal. Assuming the database cooperates, come on. All right. Need to make sure those files are backed up. Okay. Is found for Amaya Cruz. Hmm. Holding up our ID. Thank you. Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. Which makes sense. Actually, makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. You're doing just great. Must be someone who fits her description, at least partially. Yeah. Let me think for a second. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace, what's her last name? Doolin, Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman, I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. I'll talk to the patients. Sorry I couldn't be more helpful. No problem. I'll keep looking, see if I can turn up anything else useful. All right, um, well, there's one of them. The other one's down that way somewhere. Hello, this is my private room. Please leave. Excuse me, what gives you the right to come in here? You're not my attending physician. Get out before I call for security. Very sorry to disturb you. I just need a moment of your time. I suppose I can give you a minute. Just gathering some information. What brought you to the clinic? Believe me, I hadn't intended to stay here. I'm a courier. I was transporting certain sensitive documents here to the clinic. My ship was intercepted by pirates. I escaped, but not without damage to my life support systems. By the time I reached the clinic, I was barely alive. I was rescued and placed in intensive care. That was well, you seem to be up and well for for something like that. Uh, Persuade, I think there's more to your story. Well, the nature of my work requires a certain level of discretion, much as yours does. I've shared all that I'm willing to share with you, Deputy. Hmm. Not nope, happening. not that one. All right. To think so. Um. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I get it. All right. Look, nothing I told you was a lie, but yes, there is more to it. You uh -huh. can think of me as a freelance information broker. I came here to acquire classified research materials so I can sell them. Yeah, I realize it's illegal, but it's a victimless crime. <laughs> Nobody gets hurt. As you can imagine, I'd rather this information not get out. I'm happy don't... to compensate you for your I... understanding. I don't think it's her. I don't think it's her. Do what you feel you must. I'm sure Ranger Armistead will be more amenable to my offer. I don't think it's her. I don't think it's her. You're thinking about going into medicine. Just 
And I, I, I want to talk to the uh, to Armistead. Just to see. Ari should be able to get you squared away. The woman who got rescued from her ship. I doubt she just up huh. and volunteered to tell you that. I have my methods. I'll leave it at that. That makes it sound like you did something wrong. <laughs> okay, she was clearly hiding something, so I suppose. Yeah. Well, that's good work. I don't think you it's her focus though. Focus on your case and leave Miss Nakamori to me. Yeah. I'll see to it she doesn't cause any more trouble. Okay, so let me go talk to one more. It's not. To keep an eye on these doctors. It's not Nakamori, and it must be. This place makes me feel awful creepy. Oh, I miss having my hands in the soil. Why, hello. Are you here to keep me company? I, I do hope so. I can't get any of these doctors or nurses to slow down and, and just check for a while. They all claim they're too busy. Um, yeah, how terribly inconsiderate of them. Ranger business? Oh, I can't imagine what for. Unless you're here to track down that no-account husband of mine, that is. You'd think he could be bothered to pay me a visit once in a while, given I've been here as long as I have. Oh, so she's been here a while. Uh, no. All I get is the occasional letter apologizing because he's too busy to run the farm all by himself. So mm. hire some help, I tell him. And then all he wants to do is complain about how my medical bills ate up all our money. Ugh. I need to ask you some questions. You want to talk about questions, uh huh? Well, I've got plenty of those. Starting with how come these so called doctors can't find anything wrong with me? I have got no end of pains, headaches, sore knees, a sore back, digestive problems, and, and, and all manner of other ailments. Old age. I keep telling them I must have caught some kind of alien virus, but these fool doctors can't figure it out. I've had tests test for three months straight and I'm damn near broke from the cost of staying here uh, been here for three months pretty sure I have but you lose track of time real easy in here all I've got is these white walls to stare at and nobody to talk to Makes the days feel, oh, just about endless. Hmm. Yeah, I can rule you out if as my suspect. You're looking for someone who's done something wrong. How about telling these doctors to work on their bedside manner? If I'm going to be frank with you, it leaves a lot to be desired. I suppose that also means you don't want to talk to me anymore either. Well, go on then. Don't let me keep you. I thought the high and mighty Free Star Rangers were supposed to help others in need. Yes, me. I think that sterling reputation's getting a little tarnished lately. Well, go on then. Don't let the troubles of one poor citizen distract well, I didn't say you from whatever higher calling you all answer to these days. Hmm. Uh... Seemed a little bit angry for no apparent reason. You might be back on the suspect list. What was that? Marshmallow treats. Okay. To these doctors. We get the cases no one has ever seen. All right. Hey, how'd it go? Did you have any luck? Uh. As a matter of fact, I do. I made some progress digging through the patient records, and I have uh -huh. one more lead for you. Her name's Catalina Rivera. She was rushed into surgery for some kind of emergency procedure. Okay. I shouldn't say this, but she was in real bad shape. The good news is, she seems to fit your suspect's profile. The bad news is that she's a guest in our VIP wing. 
That area is restricted. Authorized clinic personnel. Even I can't go in there. I'll figure something out. Dr. Cassidy's in charge of the VIP wing. You need his permission to enter. Unfortunately, he's a real stickler for the rules, and the rules say no visitors without prior arrangement. Got it. I didn't hear this from me, but I happen to know that he keeps a spare access card somewhere in his office. Hope that helps you. Okay. Well. It feels like I've been waiting forever. You probably have. What was I going to say? Everything's <laughs> good. Oh yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching, partners. I'm going to go ahead and call this here. Um, yeah, I think I've been recording long enough for an episode. I don't know. All right. Uh, don't forget down below, guys, if you're interested in donating to Feeding Texas, link to their donation sites down in the description. Thank you so much for watching once again, and I will see you, partners, next time. Bye bye.